Well, we have uh, good news uh, to announce today that the parties have uh, come to agreement uh, just about a year after our agreement in July of last year uh, on the further implementation of the Prisono Agreement. Uh, I'll go over a few of the basic issues uh, that this agreement covers, but our hope is that this agreement will set the path towards credible elections in which everybody participates and will be recognized by all the parties. Uh, the agreement which the four parties uh, reach today includes cleaning of the voters list, steps to ensure more balanced reporting, arrangements for a government 100 days before the elections, particularly in the Ministry of Interior. The leaders of the parties will meet uh, by August 31st of this year to assess the implementation of this agreement and make a final decision and commitment on the election date. The four parties also agreed, recommitted themselves uh, to implementing the urgent reform priorities of the European Union, the Horrid, the Horrid Framework Agreement, and to the Republic of Macedonia's continued integration into Euro-Atlantic institutions. They also committed to address the law on the special prosecutor if the Constitutional Court rules against all or part of the legislation that created that important office. Uh, in the end, I'd like to thank uh, the collaboration of my colleagues uh, in the European Union, particularly Ambassador Orov, who is in Brussels today, uh, but also his whole team here who have helped, uh, have helped uh, broker this deal. And I think... Uh, yes. Let me introduce myself. My name is Tibor Varadi. I am a representative at the EU delegation in Skopje. I would also like to thank Ambassador Bailey and his team for their cooperation and support in facilitating these talks. This excellent cooperation between the EU and the US I think is a signal that we care and we are helping that the country can achieve its Euro-Atlantic aspirations. On the agreement I would only like to say that today the deal showed that political will is needed to agree and to move the country forward and political will be, will, will be needed to address the urgent reform priorities which focus on solving the underlying issues of the crisis. Thank you. Mr. Ambassador, what about the competencies of the Minister for Interior? Uh, the, the agreement, well, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just make one other appointment. We will be putting on the EU delegation website a full text of the agreement as soon as uh, we can, as soon as Tibor can get back and put it up on the website. So you'll have a chance to look at all the individual details. Uh, the uh, the um, Ministry of Interior, as I said, uh, it, the uh, government uh, that was uh, of the, under the Prisono Agreement would come into the new ministers, deputy ministers, all that would take place 100 days uh, before the election date. Uh, the uh, agreement also stipulates uh, that the uh, minister, the Ministry of Interior, uh, the new law uh, that has been passed will be suspended until January of uh, 1st, uh, 2017, and that uh, the new minister under the Prisono Agreement will have the ability to appoint up to 15 managerial appointments. So, thank you very much. Thank you.